In this video, I will show you how to track booked HubSpot meetings with Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager. The process here is a bit different compared to the usual HubSpot form tracking. Here I have a demo page with an embedded HubSpot meeting form. Here I can select a date and then book a meeting. Also, I have Google Tag Manager container. In this container, there is a Google tag with the most basic setup. And this tag is configured to fire on initialization all pages. So to track HubSpot meeting forms, you need to add a custom code to your Google Tag Manager container. Below this video, you will find a link that will open this code. Click that link, then copy the code, and then go to Google Tag Manager, Tags, New, Tag Configuration, then select Custom HTML Tag and paste the code. Set this tag to fire on all pages or maybe on only those pages where this HubSpot form is embedded. Just for sake of simplicity, this time I will select all pages. And then let's name this tag. CHTML stands for Custom HTML and then we can name this HubSpot Meeting Listener. Keep in mind that if you are already tracking other HubSpot forms, that kind of tracking solution does not support meetings. So to track meetings, you will need to use this particular code and then click Save. Now let's test if this is working. In Google Tag Manager, click Preview. And then here you should enter the URL of the website where that HubSpot form is embedded. Click Connect. The Tag Assistant has connected and now let's book a meeting. So select Date then time, and then enter your information and click request. After you see the success message, go back to the preview mode of Google Tag Manager. And here you should see a HubSpot meeting success event. If you expand this data layer push, you will also see additional information. The organizer of the meeting, that widget was connected to my calendar, therefore I am the organizer. Then this meeting was free, so in the is meeting paid parameter we have false. We also have the date when this meeting is booked and then duration in minutes. Also there is this form ID but I could not find this particular ID anywhere in the interface of HubSpot. So in this case I would say probably this is not that useful. So if you see this kind of data layer push, this is good news. It means that you can track HubSpot meetings with Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager. If you want to send some of these parameters to Google Analytics 4, then you will need to create data layer variables for those parameters. For example, I will send the organizer and then the duration of the meeting. So I will create two data layer variables, one for HS organizer and the other one for HS duration minutes. Let's go to Google Tag Manager, variables, then click new, variable configuration and data layer variable. For each parameter that we want to access, you will need to create a separate variable. So first it will be HS organizer. So I will copy this, paste it here, and then I will name this variable, then click save. And then let's create the second variable for the duration. So I will go back to tag assistant and then copy this parameter, then paste it right here. And then let's name this variable click Save. Then we need to create a custom event trigger because we want to fire a Google Analytics event tag when this particular event appears in the data layer. So I will copy this without quotation marks and then in the triggers click New, Trigger Configuration, then Custom Event and paste this. Then let's name this trigger and click Save. Finally, let's create a tag. So go to Tags, then New, Tag Configuration, Google Analytics, GA4 event. And here you have to paste the measurement ID of your Google Analytics 4 data stream. You can find that measurement ID by going to your GA4, then admin, then data streams, select website data stream, and then copy this measurement ID. Then go here and paste it. You can also create a constant variable that will contain this ID, and then you can insert the variable in this field. It will also work fine. But just to keep this tutorial a bit shorter, I will not be showing how to do that. Then the event name. Here you can come up with any event that you want. Since we're talking about bookings, then we can name this, let's say, booking complete. And then we can send additional parameters. So in the event parameter section, click add parameter. And we will add two parameters. The first one will be for the organizer. So we can name this, let's say, organizer. 
and then the other one will be meeting duration. And here let's insert those data layer variables that we have just created. So click this button and then select data layer variable for the organizer. And then here let's insert the duration. Then let's add a trigger. So click anywhere and then select the custom event trigger. Now let's name this tag and then click save. Let's test if this is working properly. So click preview. The page has reloaded and now let's book a meeting. So I will click here, then select a time, then let's enter my information and click request. Let's go to the preview mode, click this event and you will see that our tag has fired. And if I go to the debug view of Google Analytics 4, you can do that by going to admin, then data display and debug view. Here you should see that event eventually appear somewhere right here. And here is that event. Ignore this one because I was doing some additional tests. So if you see the booking complete event, you can click it. And here you will notice those two parameters that you sent together with the event. Now, if you want to see this and use in your Google Analytics reports, then you will need to register two event scoped custom dimensions, one for meeting duration and the other one for organizer. So let's do that. In admin, go to data display and then custom definitions. Then in the custom dimension section, click create custom dimension. And then first let's create organizer. The scope should be event. And here we will enter organizer as well. Click save and then create one more dimension. This time it will be meeting duration. The scope should also be event. And here we should enter exactly what we have sent to Google Analytics for, which in this case is meeting underscore duration like that and click save. So once you make sure that everything is working fine, you see the event in the debug view, then you should click submit and publish these changes live. Then click publish. And from this moment, Google Tag Manager will start tracking HubSpot meeting events. And after 24 hours, you should start seeing those events in Google Analytics 4 reports. And now let's see where you can find that data in Google Analytics 4. I am recording this part of the video 24 hours after I published my changes which means that Google Analytics 4 had enough time to process the data. Now I can go to explore, then click blank. And here I can select several dimensions. So the first one could be event name. And then I can also select organizer and meeting duration, then import. And in metrics, I can click plus and add, let's say event count and total users. Let's click import. Now let's say that I want to see which organizers and which meeting durations were the most popular. So I can just double click on organizer, then meeting duration, and then I will double click on these metrics to add them to the report. And here I will see the organizer, the meeting duration, but I also have this empty row. This is because when you create an exploration, by default, it includes all events in the property. And these events right here are not related to HubSpot bookings. They are some other events like page views, scrolls, and so on. So since I don't want this row to appear in my reports, I can just filter it. So here in this column, I can click here and select event name. I want to narrow down only to booking complete events. Therefore, I will select exactly matches and booking complete and then click apply. And here is the report. I can see which organizers and which meeting durations got the most event counts and how many users completed those events. And that's how you can track booked HubSpot meetings with Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius. This is Analytics Mania and I'll see you in the next video.